Enjoying simple things with total intensity is one of the most overlooked ways to continuously recognize, restore, and reconnect with yourself and others, especially if the responsibilities of your life leave you feeling like you hardly get a moment to yourself. So, over the next few minutes, I'd like to share how I've integrated an unfussy tea routine that I've been able to maintain between the responsibilities of home life and work. While I'm certainly not a tea expert, I am a tea enthusiast that has relished in a handful of formal afternoon tea room experiences, and each is a memorable occasion I cherish until the next. Experiencing tea is a blend of culinary artistry, a moment to catch your breath and appreciate the comfort, poetry, and renewal that the spirit of tea provides. And it needn't be that you replicate this exactly, rather it's that you see how you can enjoy the elements of charm, nostalgia, and calm that a formal afternoon tea appointment offers right in your very own home. Now, to be sure, tea paired with a freshly baked biscuit or scone is the ultimate indulgence, but I found a more efficient and stress-free way to pair my tea with something sweet and savory. Recently, my mom mailed me this dried fruit trivet by Bonnie and Pop, which not only came with an assortment of freshly dried treats, but also a basket and tray combo. Now, I normally use the bulk bins at my local co-op to stock up on fruits and nuts or dehydrate my own. I also keep a stash of box cookies or crackers that I can top with cheese or homemade spreads and jams for my canning pantry. About every two weeks, I create a stash of finger food treats using reusable silicone bags I designate just for my tea routine. And what I've come to absolutely enjoy about preparing these treat bags in advance is that it makes for easy cleanup. Uh, it also doubles as a quick snack plate for unexpected company. And sometimes I'll even grab a bag or two to place in my purse to have as a snack when I'm out and about on weekend morning errands. Using the snack size option helps to ensure that portions are just right to hold me over until dinner and doesn't leave boxes of cookies or crackers left partially unused because I can bag everything up at once. Now, my snack option also contains a bit of uh, fiber and protein and calcium, which is great for a quick boost. Of course, select snacks that make sense for your tastes and diet. After my bags are ready, I simply add them to my buffet drawer. In this drawer, I also have several cloth napkins, a table runner, and a collection of specialty teas. Now, to my right is the corner cabinet that also holds my tea set. So aside from the kettle in the kitchen, everything I need for tea is right here. Now that our savories are prepared, let's pivot to how my tea routine looks on most days. The act of savoring a few unhurried steps to clip a sprig or two of rosemary from my balcony garden, which contains compounds that soothe muscle pain, reduce anxiety and boost mood, while also pairing it with a few slices of dehydrated lemon and a scoop of raw honey, allow me to appreciate the benefits of health, utility and beauty even a small garden provides. For fresh, delicate herbs such as oregano, basil, and mint, or when I'm using home-dried loose leaf blends, I use either a stainless steel tea strainer or non-bleach disposable tea bags, which I then repurpose to my compost bin after use. Catnip, which is similar to the herbal sedative valerian, is wonderful for relaxation, and I often pair it with lemon balm, which is naturally high in flavonoids. Thank you. 
Now, if you aren't able to harvest herbs for tea due to climate or space, don't fret because a way that I'm able to supplement and vary my tea taste throughout the year has been through sourcing my teas from Sipspy. I just, I just love Sipspy. They're a female-founded, personalized tea curator based in Austin, Texas, that makes discovering teas that either I can't grow or aren't offered at my co-op fun, uh, catered to my preferences, and very affordable. Now, let me be clear, other than Netflix, this is the only subscription I've ever opted into because, well, I try to avoid subscriptions entirely. But this one made sense for me because it's a product I'll immediately consume, so I never deal with unused inventory piling up anywhere. Um, it fits in my tiny postage box and it exposes me to thousands of global varieties. Now, I absolutely still continue to purchase bulk medicinal teas from my co-op, but Sipspy allows me to sample what I think of as uh, boutique varieties each month in very manageable quantities. It keeps my tea palette fresh and experimental, and I can support local tea shops and farms as well as international brands that are difficult to find at the grocery store. I also love that I can choose loose leaf or bag tea, caffeinated or herbal, or even have a mix of each that are all unique and catered to my preferences. Each month I sample four new teas in quantities that actually yield a minimum of 16 or more cups for 16 bucks a month. And you know, I enjoy these teas alone and with my husband and guests and stashed in my purse while at work or on the go. For me, it just brings the quality tea parlor experience for me at a fraction of what an actual tea room visit would cost in the coziness of my own home. And do I dare admit that each month it's exciting to open a new tea box. If you think this may be an option for you, consider using the link in the description box below to take $5 off your first month along with free shipping. I think you're really gonna love it. And oh, before I forget, I also enjoy this subscription because I grow a number of herbs like catnip that have proven health benefits, but y'all, they just aren't as palatable as mint or lemon balm. And so I really love combining my medicinal teas with a savory blend, and that's been the perfect way for me to stick to my tea routine, not only for mental health, but physical health as well. Let's transition to my corner curio, which is a piece I thrifted, and admittedly, it isn't professionally styled, which is resolutely how I prefer it because I access this cabinet often, and it's filled with items I love, like local jams and jellies I insist upon getting from trips, china my husband has collected from his deployments, serving wear that's been passed on to me, and other sentimental mementos that, well, they mean mean something to me, which is just way more important than having a curated aesthetic. What you'll get a glimpse of over the next few minutes is how I set up for full tea service. I regularly use cloth napkins and have an entirely secondhand collection of linens that I use. When my husband or a friend is joining me, I'll bring out this foldable serving rack that is easily stored in my curio. I regularly use my Marlowe Bone China tea set, which my husband found at an antique sale while in the UK. I don't want to have one of those china cabinets that you never use, so I try to enjoy this set three times a week to mark that weekdays are special occasions too. Visits to the garden to harvest fruits and herbs is a way I experience the joy that comes from small space gardening. By the way, if you haven't tried boxwood basil and you're a fan of the herb, you've got to give it a try. 
I don't want to take for granted that this may be our first time meeting. If so, welcome. My name is Cassandra, and y'all, I'm a hopeless homestead dreamer. Here on my channel and over on my blog, becomingafarmgirl.com, I share ways to live a farm fresh life without land or livestock in a small space and in your spare time. Join me here weekly for candy recipes for modern cooks, kitchen gardening, and analog living in a digital world. Hopefully you're getting a glimpse into how I not only enjoy good tea and good food, but there's another secret I've got to share that helps me mentally shake off my workday and fully transition into home life. As a kid, I remember listening to a radio drama called Adventures in Odyssey on the drive home from school and being totally captivated as I envisioned what the characters looked like and pieced together the audio production and music. It was a truly immersive experience. Listening to an audiobook on Audible while drinking soothing tea is the best way for your mind to totally forget about what happened at work because you're actively illustrating a moving picture and your emotions are tied to the plot. Take a listen to what I'm currently reading. Just grasps the stone and painfully he pulls himself skyward. Mr. Bumble had a great idea of his oratorical powers and his importance. And off to Grisby. Men of hard, coarse lips they are. And without... If you already have an Amazon account but have yet to give Audible a try and you're curious, I've included a link in the description box where you can enjoy Audible free for one month. You'll get access to books that you'll have forever and enjoy on car trips, while cleaning around the house, or as a bath or bedtime listening routine. Don't let anything stop you from imperfectly enjoying a perfect cup of tea.